everyone and um, namaste nice to see you today we're going to do um, a soft hold and stretch practice so um, we're going to be holding the poses for one or two or two to three minutes and really getting the benefit of the stretches we're going to keep it quite soft quite a lot of um, it is just going to be on the mat so just having maybe couple of cushions and a blanket close by just in case you need it to make yourselves a bit more comfortable and we're going to be celebrating the spring so these wonderful longer days brighter days um, so we're just going to spend some time just spring cleaning our bodies so a bit like we do with the house spring, spring cleaning our mind spring cleaning our bodies and just letting go of things that no longer serve us and bringing in new renewed energy. So we're going to start off just in, actually we'll start off in reclining butterfly. So let's put the soles of our feet together and just make ourselves comfortable as we come and lie down on the mat. I'm going to be using my phone just to time us later on as we go through the practice. So just lying down on your mat, bringing your hands just to rest on your belly, tucking the chin slightly towards your chest just so your neck feels nice and comfortable. And just take a few minutes as you gently close your eyes, just to start bringing yourselves into your practice. So starting to take longer, quieter breaths. And just start tuning into your body. So starting to let go. And just bring yourselves, starting to notice what your body feels like as you're lying there. Just taking a few breaths, just settling in. Starting to relax and soften. Starting to notice what your body feels like as you're lying there. mental scan through your body, just noticing all the different parts of your body, just relaxing them out, letting go if you're holding on to tension, just softening. Then we'll start off with the face. Does it feel relaxed? Are you holding on to any tension in your jaw, in your forehead, just relaxing, if you're holding a frown, just let it go. Nice, happy foreheads. Noticing your shoulders. Do they feel nice and soft and relaxed? Just letting your chest open up gently as those shoulder blades just gently touch down on the mat. As you're relaxing down through your spine. To your pelvis, just letting it feel heavy and relaxed. You're not holding on to any tension in your glutes, any tension in the legs, just softening, relaxing. Just feel those knees just gently relaxing to either side. Feet feel relaxed. Notice our arms. Do they feel relaxed? Noticing your elbows down on either side on the mat. Noticing the heaviness of your hands as if they rest on your belly. As we start connecting to our breath. So starting to notice our breath. Fast as a slow, long breaths, short breaths. We're going to start lengthening the breaths. So going for more full yoga breaths. We're going to start taking longer breaths. 
stop drawing the breath more from the belly. So as we get ready to take our next breath in, let's start seeing if we can draw the breath a little bit longer. So we're not just breathing from our chest, we're breathing through all of our diaphragm. So the breath starts coming up from your belly or as close to your belly, bringing the breath all the way up to your chest. And then just gently letting go as you exhale, relax your chest down towards your belly. So we'll do a few more rounds, nice big inhale, rising from the belly up towards the chest. And then just gently letting the breath go. You can maybe have one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest, just to get into that rhythm, just feeling the rise as you inhale. And then as you exhale, softening, releasing the tension. Just continue with a few more breaths. So as I was saying before, as you continue with your long breaths, it's a nice spring cleaning, nice detoxing practice today. Letting go of all that no longer serves us. Every time we exhale, we're just letting it go. And then as we inhale, just bringing in renewed energy. And just continuing with those long yogic breaths. And the meridians that we'll be focusing on for spring will be the liver and the core blood and meridians. So just taking some time just to bring those back into alignment. Just letting go of any blockages as we hold and release the poses as we go through the practice today. Continuing with that long breath, keeping the face relaxed, keeping the body relaxed. Full diaphragmatic breath, so we're using all of our diaphragm to help us breathe. And just a couple more breaths, nice and long. Final yogic breath, really feel that big stretch through the front of the body. And then when you exhale, let the breath go for as long as you can, really getting rid of all the stale breath, and then come back to your normal breath. And just notice if there's any changes to your breath when you first started to now, maybe. It's a little bit longer, a little bit more relaxed. So we take our hands to either side of our body, bringing our knees up, towards our chest and we're just going to take a gentle rock from side to side bringing some movement in to our lower back and we're going to start coming up as we roll over to one side coming up to a comfortable seated position still staying with your eyes softly closed soft or gently closed we bring our hands together in front of our heart give our palms a nice brisk rub really getting those palms and rubbing together, get that heat building up as we warm up for the practice, get that energy rising and then placing those palms over our eyes as we blink back into the light and take our hands away and we begin with our greeting. Namaste, love and peace and namaste to all of you that have joined us as we say namaste to each other. So we will continue, we will start just with a little bit of warming up before we get into, settle into our practice. And today as we're going to be stretching and holding the poses, it's, it's all about that intelligent stretch. So when you go into the pose, it's just trying to get as comfortable as you can in the pose. And then just relaxing into it and holding the pose. As I said, we'll be holding the poses for two or three minutes. Um, just seeing how we go and it's you just bring your awareness into yourself into your pose notice how your body feels if the stretch is feeling comfortable or if it's feeling uncomfortable because you haven't 
been stretching or you haven't done that for a while. So it's, it's trying to just really think about is the stretch really painful or is it just feeling a little bit uncomfortable? And then just let, give yourselves a bit of time just to settle in if it is just because we're stretching a bit more than usual. But of course, if it's feeling too uncomfortable, then do just bring yourself back to the next level so you're not going so deep into the stretch. And if you're, um, if you're quite hypermobile, you might find that it's more beneficial instead of really going into that stretch as deep as you can, that you are just keeping yourselves a little held back just so you're engaging your muscles and you're not putting so much stress and pressure on your joints as we hold the pose. So just thinking about that if you are hypermobile. So let's begin with a few stretches. So we're going to take a nice stretch with the neck as we inhale. Take that chin up towards the ceiling. Keep those shoulders relaxed. And then as you exhale, bring the chin towards the chest and just stretch out the back. Inhaling again, opening up the front of the body, draw those shoulders slightly back. Exhale, stretching, bring that chin towards the chest, stretching the back of the neck. One more time, nice big stretch forward. And up to the ceiling, and then exhaling that chin towards the chest as we stretch through the back. And then come back to centre. Let's take that right hand over as we take a neck stretch. Take that left ear towards your left shoulder, just using that left hand, the weight of the hand, just to rest on your head. And then go for that stretch through the side of the neck. And keep that palm nice and close to the side of the body, rooting down towards the mat. And relax. As we come back to centre and switch sides, left hand comes down, close to the body, right one over, and again, that ear towards the shoulder as we relax. come back to centre. We'll just take a few shoulder rolls and exaggerating that movement through the shoulders and then reversing it. Good. As we come back to centre, just butterflying our legs. So soles of the feet together and just a gentle movement with the knees up and down, loosening up those hips. that chest nice and open, and remembering to have your cushions close by if you do need them. And then let's start slowing that movement down and we're going to bring those knees together and just windscreen wide bring our legs. So just hands on either side resting and we're just dropping the knees from side to side. We do doing this movement quite a few times when we're relaxing, coming out of poses. So just reminding ourselves this is windscreen wiper in the legs. And then let's come back to centre. Gonna go for a few rounds of cat cow. So come up onto our hands, onto our knees as we bring our wrists underneath our shoulders, knees are hip distance apart as we inhale. Looking up towards the ceiling, draw those shoulder blades back, tailbone up. As we exhale, we're rounding up the spine and then stretching back into a child's pose. Let's do that a few more times. Inhaling, drawing the shoulders back, opening up the chest, tailbone up. Exhaling, rounding up the spine, stretching back. Three more times. Inhaling, draw the shoulders back, opening up the chest, tailbone up. Exhaling, rounding up that spine, stretching back. Inhaling again, feel the shoulders drawing back, elbows are slightly soft. Exhaling, rounding up that spine, feel that stretch between those shoulder blades, taking it back into child's pose. Two more rounds, inhaling, drawing that chest up, chest, chin up, 
Exhaling, rounding up, tucking the tailbone under, back to child's pose. Last time, inhaling, opening up the chest. We get that navel going down towards the floor. Exhaling, rounding up, going back into child's pose. And then we'll take a brush stretch as we come up onto our knees, interlace those fingers, reaching up towards the ceiling. And then coming back down into puppy pose, our forearms on the mat, elbows underneath our shoulders. And just open up the chest. And let's do that one more time. Stretch, coming back up onto our knees, inhaling, stretching up. Exhaling down into puppy pose, onto our forearms, opening up the chest. Keeping those knees stacked above, those hips stacked above our knees. One last time, starting to come up onto our knees, inhaling, interlacing fingers, reaching up. And then gently coming down into puppy pose, onto our forearms, stacking those hips. And then we get ready to start our poses. So we're going to stay here in, in table. I'm going to just get my phone so we can use, so I can, um, I can start using the timer. And we're going to start off in frog or in tadpole. So taking our knees a little bit wider, as wide as our mat. You can always pl put a blanket underneath your knees if that feels too strong. Tadpole, we have the toes touching, feet on the floor having the hips just slightly back and then coming onto our forearms. Or we can come into frog, which is flexing the feet so ankles are underneath the knees, a little bit stronger, the hips are stacked high and we just hold it here. A good stretch for two minutes as we just relax and take a moment to settle in. If this is quite strong on your knees, so if it does get too much for your knees, you can just take a break back into child's pose and then come back up again. Again, just keep that navel slightly drawn in. So your core is just slightly engaged, so we're not putting too much pressure on that lower back. Keep those feet flexed if you're in the full pose. Feel the chest opening up. And then just take a few moments just to settle into your pose. Just starting to notice your body, what it feels like, and where the tension is. And then softening that tension out. So taking the breath, as you take your next long breath in, just taking it to that place where you feel that tension. And then as you exhale, just softening it up, letting it go. Remember, if you do find you've gone too far into the pose, just come back into the slightly softer version, which is back into tadpole. Or if you're in tadpole and you feel you want to go a little bit further, then bring yourself up into frog. And we've just got a few more minutes, sorry, a few more seconds. Continue with the stillness, with the quietness, through making the most of the stretches. In our final few seconds. We're then going to bring our feet together if they've been apart, adjust the knees slightly and then go into child's pose. So relax into child's pose, let your hands relax on either side. You can bring a cushion again underneath your sit bones and make it that bit more relaxing. If you find your hips are quite high, you can make fists with your hands and then place your forehead on your fists and that will help you lengthen through the spine. And just holding child's pose just for a few moments. And then we're going to start coming back up. And we're going to lie on our bellies as we come into Sphinx. 
So bringing our arms again, forearms to the mat, lengthening, straightening the legs back. So as always with back bends, the more apart your legs are, the less tense, the less the back bend is, the less pressure there is on your back. The closer together, the more intense. So just see what works for you. Again, forearms, shoulders, elbows are just underneath our shoulders, and then our arms are just the shoulder width apart. So you can always measure off from one fist to elbow, and then bring the hands down to the mat. Let the shoulders relax back. Let the shoulder blades come down your back as we hold the pose for two minutes. You can choose to have your neck hanging. You can take your neck back. Just be mindful of the back of your neck. It doesn't get too tense. And just take a few moments to relax. Again, if you find that feels a bit too much for your back, you can come into Fallen Angel instead, where you bring your elbows slightly ahead, crossing the arms in front of you, hand on either shoulder, and then you can have it here in a much lower bend. Just, just pick your options. We'll hold it here for two minutes and then we will hold one minute either in the slightly, the slightly softer version or you can make it more intense and go into the stronger version of seal. But for now we'll just hold it here and just relax. we have just got one more minute to go so we'll be making the most of this time as you take that awareness internally again. Just take a few moments, let your mind wander around your body. See where the tension is. And let yourselves relax. Another option is to put a cushion just underneath your belly so that also takes the pressure off your back. And then we'll continue just relaxing, really opening up the front of the body. Giving our lungs some space. So we start spring cleaning our body and mind, getting ready for spring. Just coming out of winter, those long sluggish days, into these brighter, spring days. Then we'll come out of the pose. We're going to go for one more minute. We're going to go just either coming into fallen angel, so bring those elbows in front of you and have the hands crossed in front of you. You can come into seal where you bring your hands just finger, baby finger, just near the um, edge of your mat and then just pushing yourselves up into a stronger back bend. Again, let those shoulders draw back and just hold it there for a minute and just put this going again and just continue. So whichever version, if this does get too much for your back, do come down either back into Sphinx or into Fallen Angel. I'm just going to move these out the way so you can see. Just relaxing those glutes as they will want to tense up. Let those shoulder blades draw down your back. With the chest opening up, rooting down through those hands. If you're in, if you're in seal, just holding it here. And if you're in fallen angel, just relax. Or just in Sphinx, if you've kept it in Sphinx. And then just keep relaxing into the pose, opening up the chest. And then let's come out of the pose, making a pillow with our hands. And we'll just gently rock out the back from side to side. And then we'll come back to centre. And we're going to turn our head, so we're going to turn our head right here down to the mat we bring up so we're looking to the left and then bring that left knee up towards the middle and just relax here just for a few breaths 
and relax the spine. And then we'll switch sides to so straighten the left leg. Taking the left ear now as we look to the right, bend that right leg. Then bringing the knee up towards the middle, towards your waist. And just holding it just for a few seconds. And just relax. A nice little neck stretch as we relax out the back. And then our next breath, let's bring our face back to centre, straightening the leg. And let's go back into a child's pose. Give that back a nice stretch, knees together or knees apart, whichever version of child's pose. And just relax into child's pose just for a few moments. Just connect back to your breath, noticing your breath through the back of the body. Every time you're inhaling, feeling that stretch from the base of your spine all the way up to your neck. And then as you exhale, just relaxing it out. Nice long breaths, feeling the stretch through the back of the body. And then relax it out. And next breath, let's start rolling ourselves back up to seated. And you might need a cushion for the next pose. We're going to come into a question pose. So up onto our hands and knees. Have those wrists underneath shoulders. And we're going to bring we're going to bring our right leg through between our hands. With that left knee, this is where you may find it more comfortable to have that cushion depending on what your cushion's like underneath your knee if it does make you feel unsteady then do just go ahead and stay on that again make a bit of space take that right foot slightly out and we're going to hold it here and then bring the right hand in to the inside and you're going to hold it for two minutes so a nice hip stretch before we move on Relaxing out those hips. If you do want to come down a little bit further, you can use your cushion or your block. If you've got a block, then you can start coming down onto one arm or even onto both arms if you've got that little bit more support. Making sure that right knee is not dropping out to the side. And keeping it nice and close to the side of your body. And that ankle is staying nice and still, nice and supported underneath that knee and then just holding it here just continuing for a few more breaths You've just got about a minute left so really relaxing into the pose if you do feel it's too much here if you've come down and you feel it's too much just come back up onto your hands and if you feel like you want to go that little bit further and you're all the way down, you can go and take that left knee off the mat and go into the full version, the more dynamic version. Also completely up to you. Just relaxing that hip out, making sure that knee is not dropping out. You're not falling to the outside of that right foot. The shoulders relaxed. Take that awareness internally. Noticing where that tension is, relaxing it out, letting it go. As we start coming back up onto your hands, if you're not already there, 
and we're going to go into pigeon so with pigeon we're going to start bringing the outside of that right leg so it's coming down in front of us onto the mat and we straighten the back leg again if you want to have your cushion you can place it underneath that right hip so you want to try and keep the hips nice and square so we're not falling over to the side unless it's very difficult for you to if you are quite stiff in your hips and you find it quite difficult to stay here then you can go into the more softer version where we bend the back leg slightly and we sit on the outside of that right leg and then we'll just hold it here and keeping the shoulders nice and square we'll hold one minute up here on our hands in a high pigeon before we move down into the full version so just take a few moments just to settle in let those hips relax as we exhale, let the shoulders soften, let the hips soften. And then just take a moment to check. Are you falling over onto that right side? You need to adjust your hips so you're more square. And just hold it there. So it's always about taking your mind, just letting it run through your body, just inquiring an inquiring mind. Do you feel comfortable? Could you go a little bit further? So the muscles trust you to make the right decision. And what's best for them. So we're going for those deeper stretches and through through to the fascia. A little codwork kind of coating that we have on our muscles and our ligaments. So the stretch is going just that little bit further. And if we were just doing a normal a normal yoga class. And then from here we're going to come down two minutes into full pigeon. So coming down onto our forearms. So you may want to go all the way down. Make yourself totally relaxed down if that feels good. If it doesn't, just stay up here. Again, use your cushion. Use your blanket. It's wonderful doing a practice at home. We have so many props that we can use just for our own benefit, our own little world of props. And we hold for two minutes and relax. liver, the liver meridian, our liver, is the home of the soul. When our soul is calm, the liver is functioning well. When it is weak, we may suffer from too much anger and irritation. When the liver is healthy, we find kindness easy to offer. By offering kindness, we can help heal the liver. As we have our last few seconds, just really making the most of the stillness as we hold it. letting all that stress out. We hold a lot of emotions in our hips so they can be quite tight so it does take some time just to relax. The hips get a bit tight and we go into that fight or flight mode and our back tenses up shortening those psoas muscles in the front of the body which then help, which then tighten our hips up. And from here we're going to start coming back up onto our hands, bending that back knee. And we're going to just stretch that leg back, so give it a big stretch. And then we'll bring it in front of us again. 
into pigeon, but we're going to start moving ourselves onto the right side. Just see if you can swing that back leg through into Galmakasan cow face pose. So you can stay where you are on your mat. I'm just going to swing myself around. So you've got left leg over right. And we've got the knees as stacked as we can. Again, sitting on a cushion will help you lift your hips and help with your knees. If it is too much, just straighten that bottom right leg and keep it. Just try and get those thighs nice and close together. So we'll just hold it just for a moment. Just to get used to the pose again. Try and stay as square on your hips as if you feel you're falling to one side. Just use your cushion, use your blanket, put it underneath where you're falling just to adjust as much or as little as you need so you stay nice and square and we're not compromising our hip joints we're keeping them nice and stable and we're going to take two minutes with a twist so taking our right hand to that left knee just to give us some support and take your left hand behind you we're not going for a full twist we're just going for a soft twist so just start turning the body to your left side and relax. We'll hold it for two minutes in a nice little twist. And just soften and relax. Again, notice that back shoulder. Is it coming up against your neck? Just let it relax back. And a relaxing twist. Taking a little wander through your body again. Let your mind wander through. Find the tension. Take the breath to the tension. And then relax the tension. Soften it out. Let go of what's no longer serving you. And just soften and relax. Bring relaxing into the stretch, keeping that face as always relaxed, the breath nice and long, if you feel you've gone too far then do come out of it and if you press your legs straight you might be able to just stop bending it a bit more, like now that you've settled in, sometimes it just takes a bit of time for the body to just relax. Or for the muscles just to start trusting the mind to take them to that good place when they start seeing how wonderful it feels to just stretch and release and bring in more oxygen, blood flowing through. Good, as we take our next breath, let's come back to centre and a one minute stretch over. So right hand is supporting us. The left one, so take the right hand a little bit further, the left one just pulls you over. Again, have that left hip going back towards the mat and just relaxing there. And if it's too much for your hand on the top, just cross it through the front of your body and just hold it there. So we won't stay here for too long, as it can be a little bit uncomfortable. You can use another cushion and you can rest on that. And just relax. Again, make sure that hip's not coming up. Keep it nicely back onto the mat. And you can choose to look down with your neck or look up. Whatever feels comfortable for you. Again, arms not falling forward. We're keeping the arm lifted over the head so the chest stays nice and lifted and open. Making space for the heart. Connect to that breath. Just 
Some little flow through your body, touching all those different places, relaxing your mind. Good. Our next breath brings us back up to seated. I'm just going to switch myself around as we get ready to come out of the pose. So we're going to end up back in pigeon again. So just bringing, so if your front leg has been straight, you can bring it forward. Top leg, start bringing it back. And then tuck that left toe under. Bring that knee to the mat. And then get ready to switch sides. So this time left leg comes forward. We straighten the right leg back this time. Again, take a moment to adjust your hips. Use that cushion if you need the left side. I'm just going to swing around. So if you need that support underneath, just take a few moments to settle in. If we hold it in high pigeon here. Just letting the hips soften and relax. For a minute, we'll hold. Noticing if you're slow falling over, just keep yourselves nice and square. The shoulders relax back. Let the tension go from the hips. Nice and relaxing. And then coming into the full pose, so coming down onto our forearms, if you feel comfortable with that, or going all the way down onto your, all the way down onto your face and just relaxing it completely. You can you close your eyes? And really just get into the pose. Connect back to your breath again. Let's take a little wander through this side of the body now. See where the tension is. I'm just softening and letting it go, relaxing it out. And our gallbladder meridian. So when weak, the gallbladder may cause us to be undecisive or hesitant. When strong, it allows us to be decisive and bold. So really getting that back into our minds, taking that decision that today whatever's been holding us back, it could be a person, it could be a thought, it could be something you want to do that you haven't got around to doing. Just making that decision to just do it. It's only action. And just relax and letting it go, just feel like it's completely gone. We'll see on our last final 30 seconds, you could always try and go deeper into the pose by bringing that ankle slightly further forward. Or if you feel you've gone too far, do you bring yourself back up, either onto your forearms, onto your hands, or wherever you feel most comfortable. A wonderful release and stretch. And then we're going to gently come out of the pose. Again, coming back up onto our hands just start shifting the weight so we're coming onto our left side and bring that right leg through staying here I'm just going to switch myself around again so taking right leg crossing over the left 
Again, you can choose to straighten the bottom leg if your hips are quite tight. Trying to get knee stacked over knee. So even if your leg is straight, you can still get those knees. And then take a few moments if you're falling over. Just bring that cushion underneath your hip. Just square yourself off. And just relax. Just for a few moments. Let the hips just loosen up. And then we're going to come for that twist. So a twist that will hold for two minutes. So this time, left hand comes just to the right knee as we bring the right hand behind us, just to the side of us, supporting us. And then we're gently twisting towards that leg. So just a gentle twist. Is that back shoulder? Is it up here? Do you need to just soften it back to neutral and relax? We're not twisting all the way back, we're just taking a nice side twist. Take those nice long breaths. Noticing where the tension is, relaxing it out as you exhale. through your body again, just noticing the different places where you may be holding on to tension and letting it gently release and relax. Letting go of the sluggishness of winter and bring in that new spring. Awakening, nourishing the body, just letting it flourish again. As we come back to centre, then let's take that gentle stretch to the other side. So left hand is holding, and the right one, just take the left one a little bit further, and the right one just lets you gently stretch over again. Be mindful that your arms are not dropping. You're keeping that chest nicely opened and lifted. And that top arm just gently relaxed again. A cushion or block or blanket. If you want to go a little bit deeper, keep that opposite hip rooted back down to the mat so you're not falling over. You're taking the stretch all the way through the side of the body. That gallbladder meridian that runs up through the side of the body, the head. And just gently relaxing, stretching it out. Head is either looking down or looking up. And settle in for a minute. Connect to your breath. That life force energy. Prana. Rooting that opposite hip back to the mat. Again, if it's too much for the top arm, just relax it onto your opposite shoulder, holding it there. Keep the place relaxed. Nice and 
gone too far, just bringing the socks back again. Coming back out of the colors as we gently start coming back up. Bring those legs and just give them a little shake down. So give them a little run and we'll just windscreen wipe the legs again. So bending our knees and just dropping our knees from side to side. Good. Let's bring them back to center. Soles of the feet together and we'll just butterfly those knees up and down. So loosening up any tension that's been building up in the pelvis, in those hips, releasing those psoas muscles, keeping the chest nice and open, and just releasing. I'm going to come into a wide-legged pose, so starting to slow down the knees until we come to complete stop. I'm going to take the legs out to the sides. Again, I just want you to adjust your pelvis slightly so the bottom of your pelvis is tipping slightly back so you then you bring the top of the pelvis forward. You can sit on your cushion, just have the sit bones just resting towards the edge of the highest point of your cushion so that then your hips, the front, your pelvis can then lengthen down the front. So just having yourself seated there, if you're sitting on a cushion, it gives you that bit of extra lift through the back. Again, if you feel you're quite scrunched up, you can just bend your knees and that makes it a bit more comfortable. So we're going to go and turn to our right leg. So start moving the navel towards that right leg, towards that toe. We're reaching up and then we're gently reaching forward and relaxing that head lengthen through that spine, relaxing through those shoulders. Let the arms either relax on the floor or relax on the leg. And just let your head bow in as we'll hold the pose for two minutes. Going for a nice long stretch. Connect back to your breath. And just noticing the breath again, traveling through the back of the body. Just feel that stretch. Settle into the pose. Remember if it does feel too much for the back of your leg, just bending that knee and just relaxing. Or if you're quite high up, again you can always bring the cushion and just relax yourself here. Make sure your ankle is not dropping out to the side. Keep it nice and stable. And just gently relax. A little stretch through the back of the leg. Letting go of any tension as you exhale. Letting it soften and relax. Last 30 seconds. Just really making the most of the stillness, the quietness. As we let go into the pose, just letting everything go. And then 
let's start walking our hands back towards us as we start coming up. Relaxing the leg and then switching sides, so turning to the opposite leg. Again, take that navel going towards your toe, reaching up to make space, bend that leg if you need to, and then gently soften over. Relax, notice your ankle that it's not dropping, keeping it nice and stable. Let yourself bow towards your leg, hands either resting on your leg or resting on the mat. And again, you can use that, that cushion as you settle in to the pose. Relaxing it in. So just find your place. You could hold the stretch forever if you needed to. Just that delicious place, that delicious point. I feel so good. And just relax into the stretch, just giving in to the stretch. Let your mind just let go of any barriers as you go. Just be that little bit heavier. As you relax and soften that little bit more, feel all the tension leaving, all your body softening and relaxing. Just gently opening up to all the new possibilities. As you let go of everything that no longer serves you. Let the mind just wander through the body, just letting it soften and relax. Gently start coming back up to seated. And just bring those legs in, give them a little rub, and then we're going to windscreen wipe the legs. So feet are on the mat, and just rocking out the knees from side to side. Let's come back to centre and we're going to just come in again, just finish off this section, this little bit of the, of the leg stretch, just coming to bring both, keeping the legs nice and open, again we're not dropping those ankles and we're going to bring ourselves forward. So again if you need to bend your knees just to give you a bit more space so you're not all scrunched up. And just let yourselves relax forward. You might want to bring a cushion just to make it that little bit better, that little bit more comfortable so you can really hold the pose for those two minutes as we gently relax, completely relaxing. And letting your ankles fall forward to the sides, keeping them nice and stable, and relax yourself forward. With nice long breaths, connecting back to your breath. Just feeling the muscles softening, giving in to the stretch. circulating through your body as you inhale and let 
Softening, feel the blood softening, feel that space. So totally relax into the pose. Keep that connection with the breath. We gently start coming back to seated. Take the cushion away. If you've been using a cushion, bring your legs together again, giving them a gentle shake, and then one final drop from side to side, last windscreen wiper. And then we're going to come onto our backs. So we're going to come into Bananasana, so just banana pose which we're just gently stretching the side of our body like a, gel, like a lovely banana so just coming to lie down on the mat so taking our so we're going to start walking our right so just stop moving the legs over towards your right so you're starting to stretch out the left side so you're moving towards your waistline and then with your arms again just bringing that left arm over maybe you can grab that wrist with the right arm and again just stretching through the side the left side of the body just trying to get the legs the feet and the hands to meet again try and keep that top arm so it's resting back towards the mat and then just gently relax two minutes we'll hold the pose just take a few moments just to settle in. And feel that lovely stretch through the side of the body. So you feel you may be able to move the legs a little bit more towards the hands. But again, try and keep the hips so they're both back down on the mat so you're not walking their legs and that hip is coming forward. They're staying nice and square so you go through a nice stretch all the way down the side of the body. Just feel the body softening. Just giving you that little bit more space. coming through as you gently relax hopefully not much tension in this pose as you just let go and relax Stillness, that quietness, that relaxation, and that gentle stretch. As we gently start straightening ourselves back up, so walking your feet back to centre. Walking, taking the top of your body back to centre. You're going to bring the knees up towards our chest. 
and we're going to circle the knees. So knees and hands to either side. Knees go to the left, circling them all the way around to the right. And another big circle round. One last circle. As we bring those knees back towards our chest, and then the legs come down to the mat. And we're going to stretch out the other side. So again, stop moving the legs over to your left. Keeping the hips square, stop moving the arms again, moving sideways. So you want to get the feet heading towards your waist and your arms, top arm. Just trying to keep it rolled back onto the mat. Maybe grabbing that right wrist with the left hand. I'm just going for a nice stretch through the side of the body again. Take a few moments just to relax into the pose. Nice long breaths, feel the stretch, and relax, just letting it all go, letting the body soften and relax. You can walk your feet a little bit more if you've found you've made a bit more space. Keeping the hips square on the mat. Remember we're not lifting off that right hip stays back down. Right arm stays back as close as you can to the mat. So we continue with that gentle stretch. I'm just sitting down. I think of fear, of worry. I'm just totally relaxing. Gently walking those legs back to the center of the mat, straightening up the top half of the body, bring those knees up towards your chest again, and just a circle to the right, all the way around and back, two more times, coming back to center, last circle round, as the knees come back to center. Take those arms around our legs and a gentle rock from side to side. And then we'll do one last stretch, one last twist. Taking our feet, the outside of our feet, lining them up with the outside of the mat. And just taking the hands out to the sides into a supine spinal twist. So just dropping your knees to the right and looking to your left. A nice little twist through the spine as we get beginning to end our practice. And just hold this just for a short time, just for one minute. And do that little spinal twist. Let the knees relax. Have the palms turned up towards the ceiling, just so your chest is nice and open and the shoulders are back and relaxed. And let your neck relax.
just letting go. As we bring the knees back to centre, again just adjusting the feet so they outside of the edges of the feet with the mat. And we drop our knees to the left side this time. And just looking to our right again, adjust your shoulders, palms facing up. And just let those knees feel heavy and relaxed to the side as we settle in for that spinal twist. relaxing and the tension is gone. Gently bring our knees back to centre, bringing them up towards your chest, one last little rock from side to side, and then coming back to centre, take your arms around your legs, take a nice big breath in, and then a gentle squeeze of the legs into the abdomen, releasing your lower spine releasing your back down onto the mat and then letting go of the legs as we get ready to end our practice in Shavasana, corpse pose, making some space, taking the arms out to the sides, palms are facing up, having your eyes gently closed as we start bringing that awareness back to our breath. We'll spend the last five minutes here in Shavasana. If you do want to put on something warm, as we'll be lying nice and still just for a few more moments. You can always place something underneath your back, a mat, a cushion, just to give that some support. And just gently relax, just for five precious minutes. Not letting your legs soften and relax. Letting your body relax, letting your mind relax. Just feeling your legs soften, the ankles, the feet just gently relaxing out to the sides as your legs totally relax. This feels relaxed. Just gently relaxing down onto the mat. Let your spine relax as your body relaxes. Shoulders feel relaxed. Noticing your arms gently relaxing as your fingers relax. Faces relax. A gentle space between your teeth as you relax your jaw. Just letting your eyebrows relax and forehead. Letting your eyes heavy in their sockets as they gently relax. Totally relaxed. So let your mind relax. Thoughts and just gently relaxing. Letting the breath relax. If thoughts keep coming and going, 
just letting them go, just focus on that space in between the thoughts as the thought comes, just let it go again and continue softening and relaxing and just feel yourselves gently floating away, totally relaxed. As you continue to relax, we'll just end off with one of our mantras from our, from our yoga practice. O oh Mother Nature, creator of the three dimensions, the mind, the body and breath, we contemplate upon your divine light. May we stimulate our intellect and bestow upon us true knowledge. O oh, Divine Mother Nature, our hearts are filled with darkness. Please make this darkness distance from us and promote illumination with us. We meditate in the sun's glory, who has created the universe, who is the embodiment of knowledge and light, who is the remover of all sins and ignorance. May May the sun illuminate our entire universe's intellect, O oh, Mother Nature. Gently bringing our awareness back into the room and back to our outer bodies as we start taking deeper conscious breaths again. Connecting back to our bodies. Wriggling our fingers and wriggling our toes rotating our wrists and ankles one way and then the other and then if you have the space around you let's take a nice big breath in and a nice full body stretch as we stretch our arms to the back of the room stretch those legs away from us and then bring those knees up towards your chest give yourselves a lovely big hug a last little wriggle on your back before gently rolling onto your right side or preferred side just for a couple of breaths. And if you have high blood pressure, please just roll onto your left side. Sorry, your right side. Your left side. Yes, your left side. And then whenever you're ready, just coming back to a comfortable seated position with eyes soft or gently closed. We bring our hands together in front of our heart. Just place our thumbs in our sternum. See if we can notice our heartbeat. As we end our practice with love, uniting our mind, our body and breath to our heart. I always thinking kind thoughts, saying kind words, doing kind deeds, and being kind to ourselves. And let's briskly rub our palms together, getting as much heat and energy back into the body, waking it up. And then place those palms over our eyes as we blink back into the light and take our hands away. And we end with Namaste, love and peace, and Namaste to each other, to everyone who's joined us, sending out love to the universe. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.